Hey guys, this is Sean Burton from Ville TV Live reporting right here at the Ville TV studios at the warehouse located 5800 Fern Valley Road. You know, one great thing about my job is I get the chance to not only meet great people, but work with great people as well. And today's guests are no exceptions. You, one of them you may know as the, uh, he made a name for himself as the bipolar wrestler. <laughs> Just kidding with you. Yeah. And the other one is a singer turned actor. Uh, you also know them as Max and Ray from the hit movie Overtime, shot right here in Louisville, Kentucky. But I know them simply as Mr. Al Snow and Mr. John Wells. How you guys doing, man? Awesome. Thank you so much for having us here. I'm so excited to be on Bill TV. Things are pulling up inside me as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just honored that you guys are here. I finally got him in the studio, guys. How great is that? This is an awesome studio, too. Oh, really, you got, a, you got a lot going on here, by the way. Well, the landlord's going to get really upset when he finally realizes that we're squatting here. So. Oh, well, don't let him know. That's running into a little bit of a problem. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> He's not watching right now. Let's hope not. So tell us a little bit about, um, let's go back in time just a little bit. Now, now, Al, you you started out as a wrestler. Yes. Um, tell me how that even came about. I mean, that's kind of... Uh, just, you know, it was something I wanted to do uh, when I was growing up, pursued it. Started when I was 18 and been fortunate enough to get to do it for going on 32 years now. So. You look no. great. You look I, great for your age. I, I, I look even better in the dark. <laughs> Beauty's only a light switch away, girls. <laughs> don't think I'm hot. Turn the lights off. I am amazing. That's awesome. Now, a lot of people that would mop you viewers out there that are watching know it's about the, uh, the, the head. Head? Yeah, my friend. Yeah. They're not here right now. They're at home. Um, so probably. there's multiple ones? No, just one. <laughs> just one. Head uh, has multiple personalities. They, uh, um, we're tired because we just got back from, uh, um, we were in Battle Creek and we were in uh, um, DeKalb, Illinois, and then Milwaukee yesterday. So, you know, they wanted to sleep in. And if I don't let them sleep in, they get crabby, they get cranky, we argue, you know. And it's not good on TV, so I just leave them, let them sleep. They'll sit and watch Jerry Springer. I mean, that's, that's what they need to do. <laughs> that's, awesome. that's healthy, right? That's normal. I love it. I absolutely love it. And I said, you got a lot of fans here locally and everything. Very excited. Thank God. Otherwise, I wouldn't have a job, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> now, John, I know you from way back in the day, um, days of MSD, man. <coughs> Started out drug? as a singer. Is that a drug? <laughs> <laughs> kind of. It was LSD. No, MSD. They're, like they're a step up though. from LSD? It's MSD? Yeah. No. <laughs> Just got it wrong. Just got it wrong. Wow. Uh, um, yeah, that was, that, that, was, that was a very, very long time ago, but yeah. It was quite some time ago. Yeah, yeah. So you decided to go ahead and, and get into acting. What was your, what was your first project that, um, that you excelled at, I should say? Well, I mean, the, the first thing that actually got up and out was Overtime. That was my first piece yeah. actually at Landed Distribution. So that was my first feature. I, had, I was a part of uh, several short films and uh, a couple, couple projects that never got finished, but Overtime was my first. Um, Starring a lot of features. All right, I gotta tell you, um, I've been a John Wills fan for a while. You know that. Oh, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Who isn't, right? I didn't even know Al until we actually worked on overtime. To be honest, I with didn't you. know John either until then. But since then, I have been stalking. <laughs> <laughs> Relentless. We call it obsessively shadowing because stalking it's hard to get out of the uh, out of courts with that. Say obsessively shadowing, they kind of like, oh, okay, he's just crazy. True. I call it going on a date, and all the way of us know that we're on the date. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> so it leads us up into overtime. Okay, now overtime was uh, was pretty much the first time you guys worked together, correct? Yeah. 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 It's kind of weird because uh, your on-screen characters really seem like you guys connected, like you knew each other back in, like for a long time. Yeah, we never we we never met each other. Actors. <laughs> Actor here. Acting. Genius. End <laughs> <And> scene. <laughs> No, we never we had never met each other until that first day at uh, Matt's parents' house, yeah. where we found the scene coming out of the door, and uh, that was the very first time we'd even I think that was the very first time we even talked to each other. Yeah, it was. It was you know, came in said hello. That was about it. And then action. Then, and then magic. And then yes, <laughs> <laughs> sprinkle the dust. <laughs> let it let it go. <laughs> that was a great movie. Like I said, you guys. Um, that was uh, a lot of fun. It was yeah. so much fun. Y'all worked very well together. Like I said, you could tell that. You could tell that you were friends. Uh huh. Yeah. And you know what I mean? It's just, and it's like you, you're like the Danny Glover and Mel Gibson of, of the Zanlian world or something. <laughs> is that the way? To, is that the way I can say it, guys? We'll, I don't we'll, know. We'll go with that. Yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't think anybody will, you know, I don't think Mel or Danny are watching right now. And I'm not black, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking the whole Danny Glover thing in a new direction. Caucasian. 
<laughs> so now, um, you guys have been pretty busy for the past uh, past years after uh, Overtime came out. Yeah. Been really busy. One of your latest projects right now is the, uh, the legendary Piranha Shark. It's legendary already. Already, I'm telling you, it's all over the internet. It's crazy. It's a craze right now. It is. Piranha Shark. Just the man. <laughs> Piranha Shark. Piranha Shark. Yeah. And they have a really cool theme song. Oh, we that. should have a cool theme song. <laughs> like a 70s type Piranha Shark. Piranha Shark, baby. Yeah. They're a bad mother. Shut your mouth. Okay, now we're going too far with this. Right. Anyway. Um, but they're little tiny sharks, but they eat you like they're piranha. That's, that's awesome. That's awesome, man. Yeah. That, that's actually disturbing. You can't sit on the toilet because they could possibly come up through the toilet. Think about that the next time that you're sitting down going ready to unload and <laughs> that small fish that you flushed down the toilet years ago might swim back up and bite you on the ass. This is derailing quickly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so tell us... jobs to keep me on it. <laughs> tell us a little bit of, uh, tell us about your characters in, in Piranha Shark. Well, Piranha Sharks, it's, it's sort of a, almost a satire of the whole shark craze, all, you know, Sharknado, obviously it was a huge cultural phenomenon. And um, Lee Scott, the director, writer, director, kind of, he went into, he was tasked with making Piranha Shark, but he figured he'd make it his way and he made a straight up comedy where most of the other yeah. movies, you know, sort of play serious, kind of, you know, as serious as you can with, with a shark tornado. And, and it just kind of comes out sort of. I got school quickly on the uh, social media with, with John when I, I actually compared the two. And he was like, hey, jerk, hey, let me tell you something. We're actually funny. <laughs> <laughs> Intentionally. Uh, you know, it's, it's a hilarious script. Um, it's really, it's more of a character-driven comedy, more like Ghostbusters than, uh, than anything else. Oh, that's uh, cool. Yeah, it's, it's, it's basically about three loser exterminators that are tasked with saving New York from... Piranha Sharks. Sharks. Pir Piranha Sharks. <laughs> so, Oscars, here we come. Yeah. <laughs> so, was your character, or were you, were you one of the exterminators? I was, yeah. Um, I play sort of the, the biggest loser of the three loser uh, exterminators. I'm, I'm actually more like an ex-exterminator. I'm, I'm unemployed living on the other two guys' couch. <laughs> so, yeah. But he does take his shirt off, so I'm just saying. I saw that. Thank Spoil God. Spoilers. <laughs> Spoilers. Man, well, it's in the trailer. Man nipples. Sort of Man nipples. Man nipples. Have you seen both? So what was your character, Al? Nipples. Uh, I just, uh, I'm the mad scientist that along with my uh, also sexy, sultry um, Tourette's ridden uh, assistant uh, invented the Piranha Sharks. <laughs> <laughs> I've so. actually seen some really cool pictures of it. I'm not going to give any of that away, but... Yeah, I just, I'm, I'm, not, I'm only in there for a short period of time, but... Boy, what an impact I make while I'm there. It's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not the size of the role, Sean. It's the size of the actor. Who are you telling? Believe me. Yeah. <laughs> Remember my role? Oh, God, all too well, brother. You Just the, the biggest movie. act ever. You stole the movie. I did. It was you completely, did. it should have been, it should have been labeled the bum clown meets aliens. That's pretty much, yeah. So I mean, the fact that you were locked in the car the whole time. This is true. Yeah. Literally, with a bottle of booze. Real booze. Yeah, but he didn't tell me until I like guzzled it. <laughs> that was awesome. Thanks, Matt. <laughs> Still have a bad night. So what can we expect? Uh, what can we expect out of you guys in the future? What's going on now? We got the Piranha Shark. That's going to be the big craze out there. Congratulations on that, guys. I'm very excited. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, I wish you guys the best uh, of luck. Mm -hmm. uh, it's supposed to drop sometime this summer. Um, follow, follow us on Facebook, I guess. <laughs> my editor hates my genius. Follow that link right down there. Facebook there and on Twitter. Uh, I'm the real Al Snow because there were imposters that I informed that they should aim higher if they want to fake the incident. <laughs> I'm like, really? I'm the best you could do? <laughs> you couldn't think of a better one? I actually wrote them and was like, uh, come on, I don't mind. I'm flattered, but the fact that you are picking me is kind of absurd. So. Well, I did get that email, and I, I apologize. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. You know, shoot, be Neil Armstrong or something. You know, at least he walked on the moon. Oh yeah, but he's dead. He's, yeah, he's gone now. Yeah, true. But makes I'm, it easier to fake being him, though. That's a good point. Be the ghost of Neil Armstrong. True. I wonder what the ghost of a KKK member looks like. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you guys. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs>
All right, so what, what can we see for you guys other than Piranha Shark? What can we see? Um, anything else coming up? Uh, um, we should plug uh, Penny Dreadful. Which Penny Dreadful just picture came show. out on digital uh, download. On uh, iTunes and Google, you can get that there. And Amazon. It's now on Amazon as well. For, oh, for purchase and rent. Yeah. I did yeah, it just, Wow. Just dropped, I think, last week. So now, I've been following that quite a bit. Tell you want to tell us a little bit about what that is? And Yeah, Penny Dreadful is it's a really, really fun horror anthology. Um, it's uh, it's three short, three short horror stories. Uh, each one spans over, you know, represents a different decade of horror. It's like a '70s kind of grindhouse piece, and um, it, it's really really cool. Uh, and they're all kind of tied together by a wraparound piece. Oh wow! And it's it's a, it's a lot of fun. Anyone who's a fan of horror should really check it out because it's it's more it's like a love letter to uh, the horror genre. And the the each it's really fun. The '60s is done in the. It feels like it was filmed in the 60s, but with higher technology. In the 70s, you know, the lighting, everything, it looks and feels like it was filmed in the 70s. Oh, so cool. It, 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 each one of those separate ones has has its own feel um, to its individuality. So Also stars uh, Sid Haig and uh, Jeffrey Combs, both are kind of horror icons. Oh, yeah, kind of genre definitely. Icon. Definitely, yeah. And then LSD uh, with Kane Hodder, I'm in that, and it'll be out sometime this year. Uh, Fat Chance uh, was supposed to be out this year. That one looks pretty fun. It's like a horror slasher flick uh, that Daniel Emily Taylor uh, put together. Um, has Dick Warlock in it. Has the greatest name ever, Dick Warlock. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> Might as well just say magic penis. <laughs> Uh, Lake Erie, another horror film I worked on, uh, Meredith Majors, um, and uh, it, it'll be it'll be out later this year. Sometime. You've just been slammed. I've been trying, man. Been trying. So, um, and then of course, Piranha Shark. <laughs> the Piranha Shark. Yeah. Should have been an Australian guy. Yeah. There. Gotta get a smaller boat. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Well, man, I gotta tell you guys, I'm very excited you come on the uh, the show today. Uh, don't forget to check out all their links, guys. Um, we'll be giving you links as well on our network, so check everything out. Al Snow, John Wells, man, guys, thank you for coming in today. Thank um, you. I appreciate, it, man. This is a true honor. I haven't seen, right. I haven't really had you guys been able to hang out with you guys since the overtime. True. Film shoot. So this well, is. You know, being in prison, we you know we got to, Once we're let out, yeah, you're ready to party. Crazy. Yeah, we're ready to go. So. You know, John's been kind of hemmed up for a while. He's well, been you know. very popular on the, you know, the male dance scene. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Thought I saw we got a great stage out here. Yeah, we can maybe. They don't call him meat for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a side of beef. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till Piranha Sharks you see him take his shirt off. <laughs> Down, kitty. <laughs> Down, meow. <laughs> All right, guys, this has been another great episode of, uh, I guess we're going to call it Ville TV on the scene. Uh, we're very excited. Like I said, once again, guys, thanks for coming in. Thank you. We'll see you next time. And uh, like I said, check these guys out, because if you don't, Please. I'm going to send them both to your house. No, yeah, that's not going to be good. No. I eat a lot. <laughs> All right, guys, don't go anywhere. <laughs>